All right, so looking at our draw from concealment. This is gonna be an incredibly important skill and it's going to be one that we break into steps because each part along the way is going to be really important so that I can get to the next step and be able to draw my weapon and keep it in a functioning state and be able to get shots off as soon as possible whenever, whenever needed. So the first st stage of my draw is going to be clearing my weapon. I wanna make sure that my garment completely clears the weapon so that it doesn't get caught when I'm trying to go for my gun. My thumb is gonna scrape down my side. As I get this grip, I wanna get a very tight, high grip on the gun. Again, we talked about how important grip is so that once I get my weapon out, I don't have to readjust. As I start drawing, my, my line of fire is already driving towards the target so that as soon as that weapon clears the holster, it's going towards what I wanna shoot. So that first step was clearing the weapon, getting a good grip on the weapon, and then the second step is as I draw, getting the line of fire already on target. I've got it canted away from my body so that the slide doesn't get caught up in my clothing or me and cause a malfunction. And, and now I have this weapon to retain and a problem to deal with. Uh, so it stays out away from my body. If I have the time to transition into my next shooting positions, it'll come up into this third position, this third step of my draw, which is gonna to relate to a third shooting position, up in a high compressed ready. And then if I have uh, time and space is correct, I might press all the way out into full presentation to complete that draw. So these stages of draws line up to different shooting positions depending on certain variables and, and the fight and how I'm engaged in it. Um, so clearing my weapon, getting my hand on the weapon and a good grip, as I draw going into the second phase where I've already got the weapon on target, I've got it canted away from my body so it doesn't get caught or jammed. I bring it up in, into my body and then I look to fully press out. And, and that, that's gonna hold true for pretty much wherever she, she is staging her weapon. Like we, we tend to appendix carry and, and encourage that for the most part. Um, but if you're carrying it at three o'clock, for example, you, you still have to clear your garment. You still have to get a, a good grip. You're still gonna come out of your holster and, and start getting on target as soon as possible and all the things that Amber talked about. So it's not gonna change uh, really too, too much um, if, if the staging position of your pistol changes. Um, there may be some, some considerations to make if you carry it something like four o'clock. Um, but outside of that, uh, it's going to be pretty much the, the same kind of thing. Clearing the garment's a big deal. And when we start doing like force on force and, and, and more engaged, dynamic kind of stuff, people get hung up in the clothing uh, a good bit, um, especially if they're wearing something bulky or a hoodie or a jacket or, or whatever. So, so getting lots of practice on, on really clearing that garment and getting it up high. You see, see Amber is, is really clearing pretty high so she makes sure that she's not going to get hung up in, in shirt or whatever um, again because it's one thing to do it with no resistance no movement n no other person um, it's something entirely different once there's a fight so um, being able to get to the gun is is a a big deal um, and again it's one of the things that's often neglected in a lot of more gun centric kind of shooting focused courses where I don't really have to even do that. I get to just pick it up or maybe I'm wearing, you know, a competition rig or whatever and I don't have to worry about any sort of retention issues or printing or, or, or any of that kind of stuff. So um, drilling this, training this um, on your own with your sword pistol, with your blue gun, whatever, um, it is really important. And doing it, you know, in, in, in clothing that you're gonna wear on a regular basis. Um, I think is important too. Um, if, if you're in a cold weather environment, then you know it, it's it's awesome to be able to train in a t-shirt when you're inside. But if that's not how you're going to be concealing, then you, you, you should take that in consideration when you actually are getting your your dry work. Done.